in some ways, carbon capture and storage is, represents a low carbon solution for this, um, both the industrial use of fossil fuel and for uh, dealing with the intermittency of wind and solar. There are a number of different um, CO2 capture technologies. Um, this just is a, is a figure from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, um, looking at these various technologies, pre-combustion and post-combustion are the two, and then oxyfuel are the two general ones. Post-combustion is basically taking an existing coal plant where coal is, or, or natural gas, where the, where the fuel is burned in air, and then that produces a, a, a stream, an effluent that is carbon dioxide mixed with nitrogen. And then the key is to separate the CO2 from the nitrogen stream, compress the CO2, and inject it. And that's, that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is pre-combustion, which is really the, the, the technology that um, is being used in the Hydrogen Energy California plant. This is, this is a gasification process where oxygen is added to the fuel um, uh, beforehand, ultimately, coal or, or pet coke is turned into hydrogen. CO2 is separated right there. And then the hydrogen is then used um, for, for power. Um, Oxyfuel is, uh, is similar, but it's uh, essentially directly burning the fuel in pure oxygen, producing a pure CO2 stream. So you avoid the nitrogen separation that way. So essentially, you're either separating that CO2 before or after the, the, the combustion process. Um, but there's one difference about the pre-combustion, what's called often um, internal gasification combined cycle plants, um, which is, uh, if you could go to just click the next slide once, you see that red circle on other products. This is a fundamental difference of this technology from all of the others. And that is that the product of this pre-combustion separation of CO2 means that essentially you're taking the fuel and turning it into hydrogen. And then that hydrogen you can actually use not only for electricity, but for other products. And from an economic perspective, this is a game changer. 